Wagyu beef is known as one of the most sought-after cuts of meat in the world, revered for its succulent flavor, tenderness, and fatty marbled texture. Wagyu, or simply Japanese cow, only comes from Japan, where the farmers take great care of their cattle, ensuring a stress-free daily routine consisting of regular meals and sometimes even massages. There's only one problem. The livestock industry is one of the most resource-intensive in the world, contributing to massive land and water degradation. Also, an estimated 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions. And unfortunately, cattle are the worst offenders in the mix, having the added disadvantage of a high methane output. This then begs the question, is it possible to replicate the end product, but with a more efficient means of production? Now just imagine for a moment, what if this intense process was taken over by a 3D printer in a lab? One pan-fried catfish. Smells like the real thing. Up until this point, 3D printed meats have only been able to replicate the muscle fiber, creating a product closer to mincemeat than actual steak. Many other companies such as Redefine Meat are working hard to produce plant-based alternatives, but these products are unlikely to convert the die-hard, red-blooded carnivores. Yeah, I'll have a barbecued steak, yeah, medium rare. I hope it's the way you like it. Hey, you call this a steak? This is where researchers at Osaka University come to the rescue. Experimenting with the idea of lab-grown meat, they chose the most revered class from their home country as a proof of concept. On August 24, 2021, the researchers successfully developed an original tissue modeling machine that uses 3D bioprinting to fabricate realistic muscle, fat, and blood vessel tissue. As a model, the cross-section of a Wagyu beef was used. To solve the mincemeat effect found in previous labs, Osaka University used type 1 collagen acting like a tendon to support muscle tissue. According to the scientists, further improvements to this technology will make it possible to engineer any type of complex meat structure that replicates individual characteristics of different meat types. The team believes that the production of lab-grown meat could feed a growing population while negating the negative impact of deforestation and methane release from livestock. Lab-produced meat has the energy-saving effect of being produced on demand rather than the traditional method which requires much more guesswork, leading to excess waste. In theory, this sounds like the perfect solution, but are people willing to eat meat grown in a lab? Would you eat them if they were made in a lab? Yeah. I don't see why not, no. Yeah, I would. If yeah. they tasted the same, what's yeah. the difference? Yeah, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't be able to tell. Personally, I'd probably prefer... I suppose a laboratory in a kitchen, as long as it's clean. <laughs> wouldn't put you off? No. 